Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, Northlight Images, and in this short video I'm going to show how using a hardware calibrated monitor, uh, this is a BenQ 2700, uh, allows me to change colour temperature uh, through calibration so that it shows up well on videos. And it's a problem I know quite a few people have faced. Uh, I'm filming this in our kitchen. It's lit by LED halogen replacement lamps. And whilst I can set the camera up to get reasonable looking colour and lighting for me or anything I'm showing here, it's not so easy when it comes to showing a screen. Now, I don't like using screen recording software and that always feels clunky and that. i rather just show some things here, cut in images into the video, uh, just the way I prefer to do it. Uh, so, colour temperatures. It's about the warmth, coolness of light. Now, the colour temperature of these LED lights is probably around about 3000K. Um, lighter... Bluer lighting, daylight, is perhaps five, six thousand, maybe higher. Typically, where you calibrate a screen, um, certainly for something like this um, laptop here, this MacBook Pro, that is calibrated to uh, 6,000K. It's a little up the shot. Sometimes you do six and a half thousand, but that's a little bit blue. And I want this to be a slightly warmer color because well, I'm using this for checking things. However, that really doesn't matter. I just leave that there just to show throughout the course of the video while I change other things. Uh, that should hopefully stay relatively constant. Now, I'm going to be using the BenQ uh, Color uh, Palette Master Element software here. Now, this is the uh, software that BenQ provide for actually hardware adjusting the temperature and settings of the monitor. Nice thing is with the monitor like this, you can pr store preset settings so that you don't need to adjust things every time. Now, this, and I'm going to assume it's pretty burnt out looking, um, this is set to the default Adobe 98. This is way too bright for photo editing. This is the sort of level I would use if I was using it for a display, showing people and sort of, you know, for teaching purposes. And I wanted it to be clear and legible. It's set to an Adobe 98 color space. That's quite a large color space, one of the nice things about the monitor. But um, it's way too bright and it's also way too blue. Now, in using the uh, software here, if I just go back to a black and white image, uh, you'll see it's suitably burnt out. Color image next to it also so. Now, that's set at Adobe 98. The brightness is a, probably about 140, 150 candelas per square meter. So it's the settings. Um, I'm using an X-Rite um, i1 display here as a calibration device. You can use other calibration devices. They're supported by the software. Um, I've done reviews of monitors and, other, and calibration and stuff, so I won't go into all the details of how you work this, how you use it, but it's pretty simple to do on almost any monitor. One thing I would say is this monitor can be hardware calibrated down to 4000K. This screen here, if I try and calibrate this to 4000K, it will look awful. Uh, and a lot of screens will. You need ideally hardware calibration. So that's a more expensive monitor. Still worth a try though, if you've got a relatively cheap monitor and you've got the calibration kit, you can have a go with it. But anyway, that's, the, uh, that's it set for Adobe 98 Bright. Let's change it. And there's this little control puck here that lets me change the settings. I'll go to still Adobe 98, but much dimmer. Um, hopefully this should now be visible on the, uh, on the video, but I'm going to think that it looks still too bright. And I'm now going to go to the third setting, and this is a, cus a second custom setting, and this one is set to 4000. Now, we've got lighting here about 3000. This screen is about 5000. This screen is at 4,000. Now, if I look at this screen and then look at this one, this one feels very dim and it feels very warm. But I'm not bothered about what it looks like to me. It's what it looks like on the screen that matters. Now, I've set this and I'll just go, here's the calibration software, here's the calibration device. Um, 
It allows me custom settings. I've set it for 4000 K as the temperature rather than one of the defaults. And I've put the brightness down to 90. Now 90 is quite a low level. It's the level that I would use the screen if I were editing, but I wouldn't be working in bright light like this. So it's a, it's a yeah, bit of a, you know, what are you gonna do with this? You would not use this for editing, but I would use this brightness. Now, hopefully this screen now looks fairly good. Let me just take up the uh, calibrator out of the way. And I'll switch over to the, this is in, just in Photoshop. And there we are. Um, I've got a screen that now looks okay. It isn't out of kilter with the room lighting and I can use it for showing things and demoing things during when I'm doing a video. Now, hopefully that's of help to somebody. It's quite a simple process. Uh, the calibration, you don't necessarily need a top end monitor like this, but it certainly helps. Um, and so this one here, which I've put links to all the reviews and details I've got about the, the, the BenQ kit here. Um, it's way better than this laptop. Now this is an oldish MacBook Pro. Um, so this has served me well for years, but this is being used as an external monitor to it. So there you go. That's how to set it up. Now, what about lighting changes here? Well, at the moment, it's a cloudy day outside. So we're almost entirely, and you can see there's not much light coming in right the way through from the front of the house here. Uh, so there's not much light. So the lighting here is relatively low level. I've set this to 90, it looks okay. Once we get a bit later in the year, and I'm shooting this at the start of February, um, late-ish in the afternoon, when I've got more light coming in through windows, I may want to up the brightness of this, but that's very easy to do. I just run the uh, calibration software, it takes a few minutes to run the calibration software, and I can up the luminance from 90 to perhaps 100, 110, purely depending on what lighting's coming in here. Now, you can fine tune it, you can do all kinds of things if you like, but the idea generally is um, using a monitor like this so that uh, your screen doesn't look awful when you video it. Hope that's uh, of help. Please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've got lots of different you know, photography related things I'm having a go at. Who knows, maybe if it takes off well enough, I'll actually set up a proper studio area. But at the moment, uh, wishing you all the best from our kitchen and uh, it seems to work okay. So uh, thanks.